Hi, I'm Trish. And I'm Vivian. And, and we're, we're with, with Real Voices. So the first week of Real Voices has already happened and it's been crazy. We've been doing so many different camera exercises, so many different team bonding things. It's really, really nice to get to learn how the camera works, how to compose different shots and make sure that we're getting images for documentaries that are going to be coming out in November, San Diego Asian Film Festival and you know how to make those the best that they can be to be able to tell the stories that we all want to tell. Everyone has come from different communities but we all come together in this one spot for us to go out and be creative and make our own film. One of my favorite activities that we did today was going out and filming backgrounds and that was so fun to explore and see things that I hadn't seen before even though I've lived here my entire life. And even with all these different activities, we've also gone to meet some really, really like interesting people. For example, we've met like Emery Johnson, who's a fantastic filmmaker. They're so interesting. Yeah, I feel like they also inspire us to push the boundaries and our way of thinking. Ryan Hu brought a documentary film with Glenn Heath, and it was about a chicken, and the entire time I was just mind blown that I was so captivated by a chicken. <laughs> Like another example of really, really interesting ways of displaying communities and displaying art is like through the People and Places project. Which is something that Riz started, she got a grant for, and when she told, when she was telling us about what People and Places did, which was create these dolls and allow children and people of all ages to draw themselves or someone that inspires them or anyone really and stuff them and put their voice in it. And it really rung true to me because growing up, I used to go to Build-A-Bear workshop and I hated being limited by all the only cer like certain types of bears there. And so being able to create something of my own and some of someone that inspired me, it was honestly refreshing and I got to create something that was originally my own. It was really nice to get to see how inclusive like Pack Arts as a whole is because it's not just you're doing filming, you're making documentaries about this. It's like I get to like be a part of different communities and get to like know about other communities and whether that's through making a doll that I'm going to be sharing with someone else or making a documentary that people are going to see and like be able to experience with me. It's really, really powerful to be able to make sure that people are telling their stories and I think it's really cool that Pack Arts is giving everyone that opportunity. And the People in Places project as well. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> Thank God, this is so gross. <laughs>